Welcome to this week's episode of When Can We Do This Again, guys? Your tips, tricks, reviews, previews, all things good and maybe not so good about Walt Disney World and Disney things in general. Guys, this week we are headed here. We're headed right, bam, right there to Casey's Corner. A little quick service over here in the Magic Kingdom. So let's go on in, get some food, and check it out, guys. Go in. Let's go ahead and go inside Casey's Corner, guys. As you can see, this is the this is the hot dog place here in Magic Kingdom, right as you come down Main Street, which is uh right behind me. It's off to your left. You gotta check out some Casey's Corner, guys. I am not the biggest hot dog person in the world. Usually, I steer clear of hot dogs, but I'll tell you this: I crave me some Casey's Corner hot dogs. So let's go ahead and talk about the menu here at Casey's Corner. Casey's Corner menu is basically hot dogs. You have the full long chili cheese coney, you have a regular chili cheese coney, you have a macaroni and cheese coney. They always have a special hot dog along with that. I always end up getting the foot long and I always, as long as someone else is with me, I can share it. It's plenty, plenty, plenty of food to share. They also have corn dogs here, they have cotton candy, chili cheese fries, but for $12.49, that's what I normally spend, $12.49. You get the chip, you get the footlong coney and fries, enough for one person, maybe even enough for two, depending on who you're coming with. It's delish, though. I normally am not a hot dog person, like I've said before, but for for Casey's, I crave it. It's crazy. Other tips that I can give you about Casey's, guys, as we're here. This is this is what it looks like at three o'clock in the afternoon. The parade route is crowded, Casey's isn't. But if you come at noon, or you come at dinner time, six or seven, come before the parade, you're, or come for the parade before the fireworks, it will be crowded and there'll be a line out these doors, out to here, and it'll be packed in there. Right now, there's one, two people deep at max, as you can kind of see. So I definitely recommend Casey's and coming when it's off time, when it's not busy, and uh, when you can get in and get out and not have to wait in a long line, for your hot dogs. Once you have ordered your dog, guys, it's time to wait for the food to come out. It usually doesn't take too long here, but while you're waiting, you might as well get your condiments or sides and the things that you're just gonna pile on your dog. There's plenty of it here, guys. Let's take a look at what they have to pile on the dog once you've ordered it. Once you have ordered your dog, all the condiments are on the sides over here, guys. You get onions, you can get ketchup and mustard on each side, you can get relish, uh, sauerkraut, and jalapenos all, all in this area right behind me here. Uh, you can get that while you're waiting for your dog so that you can just put it on it when your dog comes out. separate dining areas at Casey's and you might not think about two but you have the outside dining area which I will show you momentarily and then you have this inside dining area which usually there's more tables in the middle area but for some reason there's not today uh, but you also have the bar over here to eat at the tables inside I caught a table right at the edge here let's go ahead and look at this hot dog and these fries so I'm gonna pile some onions and some uh, relish and some mustard on this dog here guys and then you have the fries here, which I also recommend. I guess I love eating here. Casey's Corner guys as you can see by the baseball decor and all things baseball in there that this is based off of the fable Casey at the bat I can't think of the actual the title of the, of the, the thing but Casey at the bat sounds right as uh, mighty Casey struck out Casey's Corner and as you see out here all of these tables 
are kind of devoted to Casey's Corner. All of this behind me is Casey's Corner. So there's plenty of seating, though it does fill up fast when it is peak, peak, peak times around here. One last thing that I'd like to mention. They always have a special dog, and I didn't actually look for it today, but today's was caramelized onions, hamburger meat, lots of good, good stuff as you can see here. Uh, I wish I would have got it. But for the sake of when can we do this again in the show today, I, I chowed down. Do I have anything in my face? Yeah, I had to make sure of that also. <laughs> as that is a messy, messy, messy mill, or can be a very messy mill, guys. So, yeah, I wish I would have got that dog, but uh, hopefully in the next week or two I'll be back over and they still have the same dog. That would be that would be really, really nice. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this week's edition of Win. Can we do this again? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, makes you helps you with some decisions on Casey's Corner, as it's definitely one of my fave stops. It's a hot dog, I'll tell you that. It's a better than normal, better than average hot dog, I'll tell you that. So, love me some Casey's Corner whenever I get the chance or whenever I get the craving more so. More so when I get the craving than when I get the chance. That is gonna be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed Casey's Corner. If you liked it, comment down below. Let me know you liked it. If you want me to go somewhere and try something out and show you what it looks like before you go to Disney so you can plan your trip just a little bit better, comment down below as well. Give me the big thumbs up here, guys. The big thumbs up. That thumb. The big thumbs up. And until next time, I hope to see you again so that we can do this again. Bye-bye.